What is up everyone, this is MoGaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-30746-0. This is for the PlayStation 4 update 9.03, and we're going to get right into this. So, if you're getting this error, you're most likely not even able to <laughs> log into your console. But if you haven't done the update and you are able to log in, or whatever the case may be, but you're still getting this update and you can't obviously move to the next step, uh, I want you to basically turn off your console completely, not in rest mode. This needs to be completely powered off, as you're seeing over here. And and once it's powered off, you'll know because the white light on that side, and you can't really see it, will stop flashing. We're going to basically enter into rest mode, uh, or safe mode if you want to call it, I should say, not rest mode. So this is the recovery mode per se, where you'll be able to essentially fix this error, and you should not get this error any longer, you should be able to update your console, and then you should be good to go. Uh, so we're going to just hold off a couple more seconds, it's still flashing and it is now off so the way you enter into safe mode is once it's completely powered off you want to hold on to the power button and you want to hold on for like about five to eight seconds normally you'll hear two beeps one beep for turning it on and the second one uh for when you enter into safe mode my console kind of sucks so i kind of have to like intuitively know just when to let go hopefully ah oh, perfect we are in safe mode so once you're in safe mode the it is not connected via Bluetooth. You have to do it via a USB cable. So I have it connected a USB cable and the analog stick doesn't work. You have to use the D-pad. A lot of people get stuck over here. Now, what I want you guys to do first is go to option number five and rebuild the database. This is key. Once you do this, this will help fix possible issues that could be causing this error to occur. Once you rebuild the database, it'll restart your console. Go, you're going to have to go back into safe mode once you do this. Now, once you rebuild it, I want you to come and go to option number three, and I want you to do update using internet. My console is already updated, but it'll still give me the option, and even you, to re-update it if you want to, or just update it for the first time. So you'll see over here, it'll tell you like this is the what's available, the 9.03, and you can just do an update directly from here. Uh, once you're kind of done, assuming this doesn't fix your issue, you can always kind of update from a USB storage device. I can, I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out on how to essentially do this. But this is a key option to try as well, which could help fix your issue. A lot of times, the reason why it's failing is your update in, or your internet connection is unstable, hence why the software is getting corrupted and it's not updating properly. So doing it from a USB storage device ends up fixing the issues most times than not. If for whatever reason these options don't work, you're going to have to do a last resort option, which is option number six and option number seven. Initialize PS4. Initialize is going to delete everything off of your console. Your save data, your games, your PSN login, everything will be deleted. So this is, again, last minute options. Number six will just reinitialize your PS4 directly. So you don't need to do anything. It'll just bring it back to factory default settings and it'll do the update. If that doesn't work, try number seven. This one requires a USB storage device. Very similar, I have a video for this also, to the updating via a storage device. You can reinstall via a USB storage device as well. Uh, you download the latest version from directly from Sony, you put it in, and again, voila, it just does the update for you, and you should not get this error persist any longer. Like I said, this is the final option, this deletes everything, so it's the shittiest option out of all of them, but it is a option that works, and it will get you the job done, basically. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button, it helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, we're coming out. Peace.